You can pick flowers, you can pick your friends, and now, using the miracle of modern math, you can also pick numbers. Picking numbers is a strategy to solve problems by choosing numbers that represent the variables. The picking numbers strategy will help you avoid doing unnecessary algebra on the ACT, which will both save time and help you avoid mistakes. See, you've obviously picked the right tutor to guide you through this. Now, let's look at an example where picking numbers would be the best strategy to use. The question asks, which of the following is equivalent to 1 over a plus 1 over b for all non-zero values of a and b? We know that this is a good problem for the picking numbers strategy because there are variables in the question and in the answer choices. As always, we'll underline the facts, in this case, non-zero values of a and b. We then want to circle the key words in the question, which would be 1 over a, plus 1 over b. Now we're ready to pick numbers. Generally, you should pick small prime numbers like 3 or 5 because these numbers can make problems easier to compute. You can pick any numbers you'd like, but it's best to avoid 0, 1, and 2. It's not because they won't also work, but because the answer choices might not turn out to be unique numbers, and on the ACT, there's only one correct answer choice. Our first step is to pick numbers for a and b. Let's call a 5 and b 3. Step 2 is to plug our numbers into the problem as if the question had actually used them instead of the variables a and b. Which of the following is equivalent to 1 fifth plus 1 third? We can use our calculator to add 1 fifth plus 1 third to get 0.53 with 3 repeating. Using the calculator function that changes decimals into fractions, we get 8 over 15. That wasn't too bad, right? And now we have a point of reference as we move on to step 3. Step 3 is to write the answer that we're looking for to the left of the answer choices. Step 4 is to match up the answer choices. This means checking each choice to be sure that only one is correct. Answer choice A, 2 over A plus B, becomes 2 over 5 plus 3, or 2 over 8. We don't need a calculator to simplify this one. Dividing by 2, we get 1 fourth. This doesn't match our answer of 8 over 15. Let's cross out answer choice A and move on to B. 1 over A plus B becomes 1 over 5 plus 3, or 1 eighth. This still doesn't match our answer of 8 fifteenths. Let's cross out answer choice B. Answer choice C, 1, clearly doesn't match our number, so we can cross that off without doing any math. Answer choice D, 1 over A times B, becomes 1 over 5 times 3, or 1 over 15, which is close but still doesn't match our number. Crossing it out, we're down to our last answer choice. Answer choice E, A plus B over A times B, becomes 5 plus 3 over 5 times 3, or 8 over 15. This does match our answer. Answer choice E is correct. We did all of our calculations correctly and got to the right answer. If we hadn't found a number that matched, or if we found two choices that equaled 8 over 15, we would have just picked new numbers and tried again. Remember, the picking number strategy will simplify seemingly complicated problems.